Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to this video. All right guys, and this is the all new 2023 Mercedes AMG SL63 Formatic Plus Roadster. And special thanks for having us here today at Mercedes-Benz Hovány AMG Performance Center in Budapest, Hungary. All right guys, so let's check out this amazing new SL63. This is the key fob, new AMG key fob, very, very nicely designed. And let's close the roof so we can check out how the vehicle looks with the soft top up. So this vehicle has soft top going back to the vintage uh, SL versions, which had the soft top roof. So here I pause the mechanism so you can see how the roof works and how complicated is it on the inside, a very great and sophisticated roof mechanism. And one of the benefits of the soft top is it doesn't take a lot of space in the boot, so you have a larger boot capacity than with the hard top. And also, in my personal opinion, it looks much, much cooler with the soft top because it looks uh, really like a, a combination of the vintage and modern. And guys, if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all new videos. And thank you very much for your support. And here is the invitation for the tail lamps. How cool it looks. It's very similar actually to the S-Class because of the SL. This is also a top tier cabriolet. So here is a closer look at the soft top. And this roof is also three layer insulated with the sound and also for the hot and cold weather. And I had a chance to experience this roof in the E53 Cabriolet and it was really great, I have to say. And very nice and smooth material. You can get the roof in three colors as of today, in a black, red and in a gray. So here with the red and check out the invitation also on the front. So now we can put down the roof so we can check out how it looks without the roof. And it takes about 12 seconds fully close and open the roof. So very fast mechanism definitely. And you can do that up to 50 kilometers per hour or 30 miles per hour as well while we're driving. All right guys, and here is the price and spec sheet of this particular car. So this is for sale. And you can check out what is included in a base price and also what kind of individual options do we have here. So if you're wondering about the color, this is AMG Monza Grey Magno, legendary color. And also we have aerodynamic package, which I will show you shortly. And also very nice wheels, actually the most expensive wheels which you can get. And also the interior is really, really nicely loaded up. This is pretty much the top spec, maybe not absolutely fully, but uh, really close to that. So guys, let me know how you like this AMG Monza Grey Magno. I think it has this like a blend of a light brown, grey in certain shades. So really, really nice. And also a little bit of the gold. Really nice uh, paint, I have to say. One of my favorites, definitely for the SL. And also uh, definitely a legendary paint, which also we got on the SLS. So really, really amazing color in my opinion. And in combination with the red interior and also red roof, I think it complements each other really nicely. So let me know what's your take on this. Also, we have Carmo ceramic brakes, which I will show you shortly. And these are the best wheels which you can get on the SL in terms of the price, the, the most expensive wheels. But also we have uh, other options. But this is pretty much a loaded version, as I told you. So really great looking. Also here is a side shot and from the distance, as some of you wanted to see the car. So you can check out the, from the all angles, 360 degree walk around. And we have very nice triangle shape, similar to the S-Class tail lamps. And also this very nice extendable spoiler, which you can retract or deploy. So really, really nice. We will check everything shortly in detail. Also, we have four exhaust pipes, which are squared for the SL55 and 63. And you can also get the SL43, which will have rounded exhaust pipes. And here is a closer look at the interior. So very nice red pepper interior. So let me know what's your take on this. And now let's check out the engine bay. All right, so let's open the hood and check out this engine. So here we have the handcrafted engine from a Falterbach. And this is the 4.0 liter V8 by turbo engine producing 430 kilowatts. That's 585 horsepower. And the engine is coupled with AMG Speed Shift 
MCT9G multi clutch transmission and this is also Formatic Plus system so all wheel drive system and the acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour takes 3.6 seconds and the top speed is 300 and 15 kilometers per hour and that's 196 miles per hour and the torque is 800 newton meters which is 590 pound feet of torque and the fuel tank has capacity of 70 liters and that's 18 and a half US gallons <laughs> Is also new is the new SL has also now the rear seats this is not a four seater this is called a two plus two seater so two rear seats are more or less emergency seats or seats for a child but you can also fold them and then you have a lot more space also for storage but for example also for golf bags and some other longer items all right so now we can check out the front design and these are the headlights digital light technology the best from the mercedes-benz and amg and new design signature which is very similar but different to the s class and at the front we can find the amg badge together with amg specific grille and just look at the stance at the presence of the new sl especially from the front it looks really aggressive you can see these two intakes on each side it has this similar design language with AMG GT4 door so I'll let you know how to like this also this car has the night package very angular design for sure and sits together with other AMG models in the lineup so here is the AMG specific grill in A shape so it's a longer at the bottom and very very nice and aggressive front for sure so here is a close-up to the AMG Monza Grey Magnum once again. You can see these, not metallic, but like flickers on the sunshine. It really pops much more, these matte paints. So it's different to the wrap, if you have it. You can see even here how it reflects the lights and also two power domes on the front hood. So this being the front mid-engine car, it has a longer front, definitely. This is the design language, which goes with the SL very nicely. And here is the night package, which is on the mirrors and also on the aerodynamic package. So very, very nice indeed. You can see the front, how the car is white, really, really white presence. So now we can check out the wheels. So these are the 21-inch forged AMG wheels with 10 double spoke design you can see they are in matte black with this outer rim in which is in like aluminium here we have the Michelin 275 35 21 at the front and these are Pilot Sport 4S tires and also AMG carbon ceramic brakes which have bronze brake calipers so really looking amazing in my opinion let me know what you think 305 30 21 at the rear so wider for better traction you can also get the 20 inch wheels which are the smallest sized and 21 being the largest one v8 by turbo formatic plus at the front fender and also the intake design is in high gloss black as well as the side skirts and also the mirrors and also this aero package part which you can see here at the front bumper as well as at the sides of the front intakes they are in high gloss black as well you can get them in carbon fiber if you would like so that's also an option and also the front lip is in high gloss black because of the night package so let me know what you think about that would you get the carbon or the high gloss black would be your choice so the carbon being the top option for this particular option and you can also see the lines at the side very very nicely looking vehicle for sure and these handles and they are pop-up same as for the s-class and they also illuminate so you can see from the sides very very nice little bit of the chrome on the top of the handles and this is the side rear view you can check it out how it looks and we can open now the fuel tank so you can see here the recommended tire pressure and also top speed 
So for the winter tires, 217 km per hour, and for the summer tires, 315 km per hour, 196 miles per hour. And you should use the best octane uh, petrol which you can find on the gas station for sure, because this is a high powered sports engine. So let me know what you think about this three quarter design from the rear. I think it looks really stunning in my opinion. So I absolutely love this car. In my opinion, it looks really great also from the rear. You can see this very nice sloping design. So in terms of the engine versions, this is the top spec, 63, 55 is also V8, and the 43 is 2.0 liter four cylinder. And here is the MG logo on the left side of the boot. And here is a close up for the extendable spoiler. So guys, definitely let me know how to like this rear design. I really like this particular with the spoiler, how it's uh, deployed. Also, we have four squared pipes. So here at the sides of the rear bumper, you can see these black high gloss black parts. These are part of the aerodynamic package and also under the diffuser, you have this lower lip. So there's also part of the aero package as well as the exhaust tips in high gloss black as part of the night package. So here is the aero package in close up, you can check it out. So this lower lip and also this part on the sides. Also this part around the exhaust is in aluminum if you don't have the night package. Here in the night package it's blacked out. And also at the tail lamps, these LED lights have same design as in the S-Class. These like a crystals which are individual in the tail lamps, really great. And here is also the spoiler in the middle. You have this aerodynamic shape for better airflow. So there's also something to check out and you can see the red roof from the outside as well, even if it's down. So that's also very good. So what do you think about this rear design? Also AMG emblems on the exhaust tips. So if you don't have the night package, they are in silver. Keep that in mind. So would you go for the chrome or for the night package? What do you think? Let me know in the in the comment section down below. So really amazing exterior design in my opinion. Now we can check out the interior. So here is the overall look at 2 plus 2 and also the new cockpit. Really looks unbelievable in my opinion. One of the best designs from AMG for sure. So here is the design of the seats. These are the comfort seats. You can also get the AMG performance seats, which are the bucket seats, but these are more comfortable and better for the longer distance driving. So here are the pop-up handles once again. Let's hop inside in the interior. And also here is the new AMG Performance steering wheel. If we press the startup button, we can check out how the infotainment system looks and also the invitation on the AMG buttons on the steering wheel. So how fantastic this looks. This is the brand new animation. And here you can see the carbon fiber inserts. This is for the interior option and also for the middle console. This is also the top spec for the interior decor. So here is the red pepper and black AMG leather. So let me know how to like this design. And also you can see these very nice vents which are inspired by the aviation. And in the doors you can find the hi-fi system which here in this case is Burmester 3D high-end surround sound system. So here in the infotainment you can see the middle display. Now in the new SL you can operate it. Electronically you can tilt the display depending on the glare which you have in your driving. And I think this is really useful. You can uh, move it only like partially or you can move it fully depending what kind of glare you are getting at that moment. Also you can set in the settings when you open the roof that it will tilt uh, automatically. So that's very good as well. Here is the close-up for the carbon fiber and also buttons for the windows for the seats. They are from the S-Class. Also here you can see how the windows work really great. This is the flagship Roadster for the AMG. And here is the 3D Burmester high-end surround sound system and very nice vents inspired by the aviation, by the engines of the airplanes. 
here is the knob for the lights, parking lights, parking lights on one side and also you have fog light there and main headlights and you can also release the parking brake uh, underneath if you are being towed and also here you can see the pedals for the brake and also for the accelerator for the throttle so they are in aluminium with rubber dots so they are not slippery very nice design and here with the button you can also open the boot as well so everything looks very nicely and cohesive AMG illuminated in the doors as well one more speaker and here is some storage space in the doors it's a little bit bigger than for example in the AMG GT in the previous generation of the GT so that's also good and there was like a fabric here is a much more stable so if you close the door doors have very solid sound and here as you can see the all new AMG performance steering wheel with ladder on the top and at the sides we have the dynamic which is like an Alcantara material and the AMG logo at the bottom so we have flat bottom on the steering wheel and the largest Mercedes-Benz star ever fit into a steering wheel so here you can find the button and the AMG steering wheel which you can control the driving mode so essentially you have many many modes so for example you have slippery mode for the winter here you can see also close up the car being in the, in the rain and also in the snow as you can see like a slush then we have individual mode so you can set it up how you want the comfort mode sport sport plus and the most aggressive the race mode and also you can hide some modes if you are not using them I will show that later how you can do that that's also new and also automatic start stop engine start stop button is there uh, underneath the start engine button here are the flappy pedals for the gearbox and they are much better here in this new steering wheel design and much larger to operate so let me know what you think you know this steering wheel from E53 and also C43 and other new models so very very nice you can operate the indicators with the left knob with the right one you operate the transmission we have three blicks three flicks on the indicators and also here you can set up the distronic the automatic cruise control the distance between the vehicle in front of you and the speed and also the menu also the limiter of the speed if you need that and overall you can see here the digital instrument cluster with the track pace you can see the g-forces and also on the right side you will have the timing for the individual tracks so that's also very good and now the display is encased in this like a, a cluster so you can see here it's pretty I, I thought it would be thinner but actually it's pretty nice and uh, very high quality so it looks really great it's not fully encased but like uh, on the half side you can see on the each side but it looks really great in my opinion then if it would be uh, fully closed now it looks really like a hyper analog the AMG calls this so you have also analog parts of the design and also this new design with uh, new tech so here is the super sport display this is the very nice with the RPMs on one side and it will go to the towards the sides if you would accelerate also you can see how much newton meters or kilowatts you are using this car also has the lift system so you can enter buildings easily here you can see the settings and temperature for the engine gearbox and overall so let me know how to like this super sport display then you can choose the sport display this one is a little bit less sporty in the red team you can get this display also in mercedes-benz vehicle but the super sport display is only for the amg vehicles and the whole sl comes only as an amg vehicle so there is no mercedes-benz version of the sl so here you can see how this amazing display and graphics look here is also the classic one which you know from the mercedes-benz very nice two instrument clusters and the graphics are one of the best on the market if not the best here is also the understated display where you don't really have a lot of information maybe for some calm driving 
and here is also the navigation display so you can have full screen for the navigation if you would prefer that if you are going somewhere so here you can see for the long distance driving you can see the gas stations and name of the streets very nice uh, navigation for sure we will check that also on the middle screen and here is also the assistance package you can also recognize the car in front so that's also a good if you're driving on the Distronic Plus, the level 2 autonomy driving. And here is service display where you can check out everything what is for the service and also the tire pressure and tire temperature. When is the next service if you have any warning messages and also the temperatures. On the right side here we can find the gear lever. So you have parking, reverse, neutral and drive. And at the middle here you can see the large screen so you can check it out the infotainment system this is the new my MBUX which was first in the S class now we can see it also in the SL so first we can check out how it works so you can see you have many application and on the top part you have the navigation and the lower part you have the AC for the controls so here is the navigation you can see you can zoom out and zoom in you can also for example have a 3d navigation so if we go in the city center you can check out here the navigation has uh, buildings which are like in the 3d modeling really great looking in my opinion all right so next you can see the apps so these are the apps mercedes me app browser energizing coach and also the gallery so here in comfort menu you have a massages this one is relaxing massage you can turn it on for the driver or passenger make it more intensive or more normal level massage activating massage and also the classic massage so you're less tired if you arrive to your destination so that's really great uh, for long distance driving this is a very nice and gt oriented vehicle as you can see here so the message is really great I tried it there is also activating and classic massage you can make it as I told you intensive or normal level and you can choose for which seat you will turn it on so here we have seat kinetics with this option the seat is not massaging the driver or the passenger but is moving a little bit up and down and forwards and backwards so this is like an alternative to the massage if you don't really want the massage but you want to be like a more life in the seat if you are driving for long term long distance driving so here is the lumbar support you can adjust it exactly where you want and how many levels for the lower back so this is also very good side bolsters so here you can inflate or deflate for the driver and passenger here as a showcase i'm going to inflate for maximum so you can see how it looks so with the heating settings you can only have a seat or only the backrest heating up if you for example some people don't really like to heat up the seat so they only can heat up the backrest and here you can position the seat automatically if you would like to do that also you have ambient lighting with monochrome settings we have 64 individual colors you can see here some pink and we have uh, many many colors so here is a pink shade how it looks and it's really a bright also during night you can also change the brightness for the ambient lighting here is a like a lime green or you can check out the most visible which is here like a blue or purple this one is definitely the most visible here in the brightness settings you can have it from zero on that turn it off or you can have it on from 1 to 20 and here is a multicolor option ocean blue for example this has a combination of light blue and dark blue so let me know what which is your favorite from the ambient lighting section so a lot of settings Miami Rose Malibu Sunset so all kinds of settings for the multicolor ambient lighting for example Venice pink this is like a lot of pink shades chrome shine this is more or less uh, subtle red moon jungle green and for example the ultramarine this is a strong blue 
then fresh cyan this is like aquamarine here is racing yellow and racing orange these are only for the AMG versions and here you can see also for example the effects for climate for greeting and energizing comfort which combines the massage also the different colors for the ambient lighting and also the other like heating or cooling down the cabin here is a climate menu where you can change the settings for the climate control also you can close from the outside if there is uh, some uh, something what you don't want to smell basically also here you can change the auto for the fan you can make it stronger or lower and if you lower or increase the temperature you can see the vents they are in blue or, or the red here in the AMG performance section you can see we have uh, live data from the vehicle engine and consumption also the rear wheels uh, they can turn so we have active rear wheel steering and for the agile driving this is uh, very good the rear active steering here you can see the accelerator and the brake in percentage temperature of the tires and also the tire pressure here for the engine the newton meters and kilowatts how much the car is using at the moment the torque and the power and the temperature of the engine and the gearbox and here is a consumption chart so here in the settings you can see we have many settings for assistance systems so this car can brake automatically if there is something in front of the vehicle and you can change uh, how this system should react so that's also a very useful I tried it in many vehicles and it works really really great it can prevent or even stop uh, from from the collision so that's really really uh, amazing and very helpful and very safe so here you can see the camera parking so many many settings uh, in terms of the settings menu so here you can see some of the settings uh, really a lot of uh, settings here for the dynamic you can change the drive so you can change uh, also the transmission from manual to automatic the dynamics from basic to advanced pro or the master and the suspension can be in comfort sport or sport plus also the exhaust system uh, you can open the flaps and have the louder exhaust system here for the digital light you can have a spotlight so you can spot a person for example walking on the road and dynamic low beam so it can cut out ongoing traffic also projection when you open or close the vehicle digital rain or reduced lines so that's also very nice and effect so you can increase or decrease the brightness of the displays which is really useful during the day because you have a sun uh, or during night time when uh, you don't really want the screens to blind you so that's really working very nicely and here for the home screen you can change how the home screen looks so you can have a zero layer for the infotainment system for example here when I set it you can see that you have uh, things which you use the most often the car will learn that and also you will have the, the everything what you use the most at the glance uh, with one tap of a finger so that's also how we can change everything here at the AMG steering wheel buttons you can change what is shown on the button also you can press on the button and that will change it or you can here in the menu you can select it so that's also very good also what is new here that you can change the order of the driving modes so depending uh, which you use the most you can change it to the order that was not possible previously so that's also very good and also what you can do is you can hide for example some uh, driving mode so if you don't use it and then the, really you, you will not uh, see this driving mode which is really uh, something new as you can see here there is no race mode now so what's happened but yeah you can uh, change it very uh, quickly and easily but for example if you want to to give the car to someone and you don't want them to drive for example in the race mode or sport plus you can only enable up to the sport mode for example so that's uh, also uh, one option which you can do and maybe 
not everyone can find these settings in the menu. So it's also a very, very good to have this option. So here is a Burmester high-end 3D surround sound system. Here you can see the settings, surround, 3D sound, live, pure, here for the equalizer, bass, mids and treble. Balance, so you can change the balance on the right or the left seat. And VIP seat, you can change which will be focused around that seat. And loudness normalization, for example, if you are driving faster, it will automatically increase a little bit the volume. So here is, if you change, you can see the menu for the AMG, dynamic, select, and here are the parking cameras, 360 cameras, the front camera view, the rear camera view, as you can see here. Also, you can check the sides if you are parking close to uh, some objects, so don't curb the wheels. And here is uh, auto mode, and also you can lock the GPS position, you can save it. So, for example, if you arrive, uh, arrive home, yeah, the cameras will turn on automatically. So, here you can close or open the roof, but you need to hold the button on the screen for safety reasons. And here is how fast the roof will open or close. This is very fast in my opinion. It takes like 10 seconds, maybe 12 seconds. So really, really fast for sure. So the most used things are at the lower bar under the display, as you can see. So for example, the roof mechanism, it's at a quick tap of a button. So now we can open the roof. So you can see the mechanism, how it works from the inside of the vehicle. And yeah, uh, also one speaker in the middle between the seats of the Burmester surround sound system. So here in the middle, you can find in the middle console, the carbon fiber decor and also the storage space and two cup holders, two USB-C ports for charging your device and also the wireless charger for your phone, but the faster charging is obviously via the cable. So if you want the faster charge, definitely use the cable. So here you can see the place where you can rest your arm. So that's also uh, very nice and very ergonomic in my opinion. But it's probably better to open the storage space if you want to have an arm there. So here at the armrest you can see you can fit two arms very easily. So it's quite wide. And in the middle also two USB-C ports so you can charge if you have more devices which you need to charge. You can do that as well. And what is also very good you can operate the passenger seat from your side of the car. So you can heat up or cool down on either turn on the air scarf for the passenger or for yourself obviously. So the air scarf will heat up your neck. That's like invisible scarf. So here if you press the right, you can control the passenger seat. So for example, if you, uh, if someone told you that they are cold in the passenger seat, you can turn for them air scarf, which is uh, pretty cool. So here in the front of the passenger we have the glove box, you can also close it with the physical button, it's, uh, it has uh, some storage space, so here you can lock it, and also we have the white stitching on the red pepper leather, so let me know how you like this leather combination, also the leather is perforated for the climate cooled seats and also isofix so you can attach a child seat in the front if you want so many many options very practical car even being the sports car it's very very practical also isofix in the rear so you can attach the child seats for the rear as well so here you can move the passenger seat from your side as well so the rear seats are really for not as tall of a person so here are even more speakers as you can see on the each side of the seat so you can fit two smaller people uh, behind each other uh, so you can uh, easily I would say if you have two smaller passengers with you you can fit uh, them easily or the kids in the rear but I would say mostly people would use these seats as a storage space you can also fold them that's very practical also for the skis or for a golf bag. So here is uh, 
what kind of distance do you have I mean I will not fit there for sure so I'm not, I'm not even trying that but uh, yeah it's uh, very good that you have this option uh, basically because in the previous uh, SL you, you didn't have any seats so most of the people as I told you will, will use this uh, for a storage but you can use that or the kits in the rear but for not as tall of a person so here is the key fob and we can open the boot so you can press the key fob or in the doors you can press the button so here you can see the boot space how large it is you can fit some duffel bags for sure in the car and also underneath the roof when it is down so you can see on the screens the exact cubic feet and liters for the when it's roof down and when it's roof up so i would say it's very sufficient and also if you can store something at the rear seats i think uh, it has a plenty of room for what this can is designed for and you can also close it from the button which is really convenient all right guys so that's all for the full in-depth review of the new 2023 mercedes amg sl63 formatic plus let me know what you think about this car in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching and guys don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell turn on all notifications so you are notified for future episodes and thank you very much for your time and watching and i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day